right we're starting from right when we start stopped from the last video all right what's the next line going to be um, we were talking about the dot this periods and the rn's the periods um, <clears throat> excuse me combine text and data variables and the rn inserts a new paragraph after the customer name let's copy that and paste it right here um, now that's the email email needs one okay so we're going to do uh, next after that we're going to do request tour let's copy this copy and paste it here and we're going to write here requested tour T is a lowercase t. Requested tour. Let's come all the way over here and let's backspace that up. Okay, so maybe we can put some spaces here so all those quotation marks go straight down like that. Uh, requested tour is going to be the longest line. So, and then right here in the post, instead of email, we're going to write tour date underscore zero. Is that right? Tour date zero. Post. There we go. Okay. So the zero coincides with tour date zero right here, the ID. Tour date zero, tour, tour date zero one, tour date zero two. We have, um, remember we did the name up here, the ID, and now we're doing the tour dates. And then for travelers, we're going to do travel 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then requirements. And that's good, right? I'm going to give it a couple more spaces here so we can keep working. Let's copy this one, paste it here and here, and we're going to do 0, 1, 2, requested tour, <clears throat> excuse me. Tour date to let's tra total travelers and restrictions is next. Total travelers restrictions total travelers travelers and then right here we're gonna write travelers. And this has to spell everything. All these have to be spelled correctly. Oh, this is f further out than qu requested tour. So what I want to do is make a space all the way up, and down. Here we go. So it's all nice and even. Travelers. This needs to be the same as travelers. This name travelers right here. Or travelers one, two, three, and four. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I remember, okay, because in the design mode, <clears throat> you can only have one of five. In the checkboxes, you can have one of three. You could, you could actually do one, two, and three, which states you prefer. You can do all three of them. But with the radio buttons, you can only check one. That's why there's only one response here. Okay, gotcha. All right, sometimes I have to remind myself. <laughs> all right, so total re travelers, and then this one is going to be uh, restrictions so we can tell what our restrictions are and let's go back to sign up click on restrictions click on there you go and their ID is requirements let's copy that sign up let's paste it right here let's save it again command S to save I'm going to look at my RNs. Da, 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 da. Um, they say in the book for total travelers and for restrictions, they want an extra one of these at the end here. Bam, bam. Let's get rid of this period. Let's get rid of this period. There we go. 
I guess those two stay away from these up here. They're going to go down a couple extra lines. All right. I think that's it. We have our doc type down here. Let's save it. Command S to save. And <clears throat> sign up. Post. Sign up. Dot PHP. Action. It's going to go to the sign up PHP. I just want to make sure. I'm just going to copy that word and paste it here just to make sure it's going in the right direction. Save it. Go to design mode. And where's my. Oh, do I need to close the PHP? On to page 329 and 328. Uh, to close up the, the PHP, I'm going to put, the, put it down a couple. It's going to be a question mark and then close the tag. There we go. Now, underneath restrictions, the next one is going to be dollar sign from space equals space post email. I'm just going to snag this up here. Copy, paste, and I'm going to get rid of some of it. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a dollar sign, underscore, post, and then instead of name, we're going to write email. So from post email, there's going to be a semicolon at the end there. And let's copy that. And we're going to do, um, you know, the other lines aren't like that. I'm on, I'll pay, on top of page 329. I'm going to do the next one, which is dollar sign, header, space equals space, quotation marks, go inside the quotation marks, capital F from colon space dollar sign from lowercase go after the quotation marks press spacebar period spacebar quotation marks the backslash r backslash n quotation marks semicolon save and i've got two more to go two more lines <laughs> let me see if I'm, I'm i'm just checking my code make sure i'm right header equals from all right from and then the dot here and then rn is inside quotation marks okay good thing i'm checking my book because i forgot to put an s at the end of end of headers all right, let's do that again. Let's copy this one. We're going to do another one. Paste. Two headers. Headers equals. And then right here, we're going to write BCC, blind carbon copy. That's when you send an email to somebody and you don't want the other people to know what email you're sending it to. And then you can send it to another email. Um... How about I'm going to send it to info at webskins.com, which is my other email address. Uh, and then the R and the N, that's good. Okay, then the last line is going to be mail. Parentheses, semicolon. And inside the parentheses, I'm going to write dollar sign two comma dollar sign no spaces subject comma dollar sign message comma dollar sign headers no comma all right, let me share. I wrote it all right. Mail dollar sign two 
dollar sign subject, dollar sign message, dollar sign headers. Did I write everything? Message subject to yada yada yada. Command S to save. Is that it? Did we finish? Did we do it all? Let me see. So that is the PHP. Hopefully it's written right and there's no errors. If there's an error in it, it won't work. <laughs> so um, instead of going to the flippy floppy, now that we've um, ex got the Dreamweaver folder going here, we can click on sign up and sign up.html, sign up.php, right click on it and put and say um, should dependent files be included we don't have any independent files we just made uh, HTML and PHP but I also want to um, get all of the pages except for the nav and the table to upload because we redid all the um, navigation right we took away a couple of uh, links so let's go to our website and Let's go to home. Oh, let's make sure we're on the webskins. Uh, go to your webskins.com, Dreamweaver. Enter. Make sure it works. News. Sign up. Green tips about contact. Let's go to sign up. See if it works. Name. I always write test. Email. Test at test.com. I always do this when I'm testing. Which dates would you prefer? I'm going to do all three. Ah. How many travelers? How about four? Requirements? I have none at the current time. I might write test in later if I have to do this so many times, right? Email tour request. Let's see. Ah, it went to the eCore sign up form. Thanks for signing up for the Paris Eco Tour. If you need to contact us for any reason, go to the contact page. Okay. I'm going to go to my seminal email. Oh my God, Paris Tour sign up form. It worked. It freaking worked. Customer name, test, email, test at, total travelers for. Okay, so what's not working here? I have none of the current time restrictions. This is my email. Uh, this is the second email that came through. That No, that's not the second email. That's just that's a, that's a, the email that it came from. Email, customer name. It didn't do the requested tour, but everything else worked. Isn't this great? Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, the tour date lines, these three didn't work for me. I've got to figure that out. That's request tours. Requested tour. Okay. Oops. Tour date zero. Let's go back to my tour dates here. Tour date zero, let's copy that and paste it here. Let's take this one, tour date one, paste it here. Sometimes I want to just paste everything exactly the way it is. It might be this, it might be something else. This is where it, this is where it gets hard. Save it. And now I can put these two up again. Since I'm only working sign up, uh, they to put them. No. And then go back to my page. Let's go back and let's refresh the page. Test email. Test all three of these. Let's do how many travelers one. How about test here? Email tour request. Let's go back to my website. See if the new email is coming through. New email one came out through. Okay, test, test. Okay, requested tour is not working. Okay, so I have everything right. Everything is working here. So what is not working over here on the sign up page? Checkbox, name, tour date, value tour one, tour two, tour three. Tour date, tour one, tour date, tour two, tour three, value. That's our value right there. That's what it should be saying. Yep. 
maybe I should have Tor 1 here. Tor 2. Let's see if this is what, what I need to do. Tor 3. Just like the value. And not the ID. Huh. Save that. Put it. It's overwriting it. Go back to. Let's go. Here we go. I'm going to bring this over here. So go back. Refresh again. I'm refreshing the page because the PHP is refreshed. Test. Test. One, two, three. Let's do more. And let's write test. Email. And let's go back to mail. Refresh. Oh, came through that quick. Are you kidding me? Still not working. We got everything else working though. And you know what? That's happy day, man. It's freaking awesome. I'm loving that we got almost everything prepared there. All right. So I want you guys to upload that and give that to me. If you guys can figure out the requested tour, do it. If not, get rid of it. We'll just get rid of it all together. And then we'll go to the sign up page and get rid of this. Because what really, at the, at the end of the day, I just wanted you guys to um, work through um, a email form, contact email form, where the PHP sends you information. Let me put these both on. Put. Okay, the sign up has been modified. Yes, to all. I want my. I want the. But I don't want to send all of the content. Let's go back to. Let's go back. Let's refresh the page. Name, test email. Uh, test. Let's say three this time, and then test here. And then let's go back to. Sometimes it comes quick. Sometimes it takes longer time, huh? Oh, you know what? Probably not working now because I took out... Uh, huh. Well, maybe it is working. Let me see. Let's see. Mail. Oh, man. What a bummer. See, you take something out and then it gets messed up. Oh man, I was just, I was acting too fiercely, I think. Let me come up here. Let me go back. And sign up. Let's leave that back there. Let's save both again. Um, up here, that's another, that's a fun thing. Right click and click on standard here on this row. And click on this and drag this out. Put it up here. Will it go up one more? It's crazy. I won't go up there, but it will go maybe on here on that one. Okay, cool. So, right here, instead of doing save all, you can um, I think it's uh, this one save, open, save. Save all this one. Click that one and it saves both of the um, documents you have open. Right click, paste, put, no. Go back, refresh. Let's see if it didn't come through. But let's go back, refresh, put in our test. Test. One, two, three. I know that's not going to work, but let's try to see if it works anyway. Refresh. All right, that one came through. So, um, still not working, but uh, I want I want you to be able to. I want yours to be able to work. When I go to your website and I go into that form and I submit it, I want you to email me back to my email address, which is duffnerg at Seminole State. Dot edu that is part of your assignment so if I don't get an email back from you you're not gonna um, <laughs> be able to pass that part of uh, the assignment 
Okay. And uh, what do they say? And um, may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs>